Hi, this is Andy from Edelweiss Interactive and in this video I'm showing you how to use the decal system in combination with dynamic objects. With dynamic objects, I mean any kind of game object that is being moved around, rotated or scaled at runtime. We first of all need such an object. I just pick a, a sphere and I assume that this one is being moved around at runtime and I want that the decals which I'm going to project onto it are moved around with this sphere. If I use the usual strategy to create decals, which I'm doing right now, so I'm selecting a material, a UV rectangle, I don't I don't make de make details in here. Run on, rotate it. So there's the projection. And if I now select the sphere and move it around, the projection stays in place. The solution to move both of them at once is to pick the decals instance and make it a child of the sphere. Because decals are not different compared to other game objects with a mesh. If you want to move several uh, game objects around at once, like for instance the sphere and another game object like the cube. If you want, want that this cube is being moved around with the sphere, it's very simple. You need to make the cube a child of the sphere, otherwise it's not working. And the decals are not different in that relation. It's important that you use the decals instance and not the projectors for that. So the decals instance itself has to be a child and not the projectors only. So if I now move the sphere around, all of the all of its children are moved with it, just the result I want to achieve. That's already everything for this video. Don't forget to rate the decal system in the asset store to write reviews and make donations. Thanks for watching.